Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. What's going on, Lumio Station? Shady Penguin here bringing you another episode of Pokemon Scrabble. This is episode number five, and before we get started, if you can, please show some Lumio's love to that like button right below this video. Remember, if this video reaches uh, any kind of like goal, because I don't have one here on Lumio Station, um, I just really appreciate the support you guys have been showing in this series. I know, I know, guys, I know. I know that I haven't won a week since uh, since week one, and trust me, it's been keeping me up at night. But we are going to try this week. Um, we have our letters right here. And actually, just so you guys know, I kept, I, to make it easy, I think it's what we're going to do. You guys can let me know what you think. But um, I think what I'm going to do is I am not going to put any letters back in the bag until the bag is empty. That way, all the letters get cycled through. And I know that means that there's some crappy letters that'll get chosen, but it also means that we won't pick the same letters um, frequently. So we got the Q, the U, the I, the W, the F, and the B are all out of the bag because last week we, we picked those and we lost them because we picked a terrible team. But this week, we're going to try to do better. So we're going to pick a letter right now. We're just going to get under underway. We're just going to get this started. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. Our first letter is a G. A G, that is not a bad letter at all. We'll let that, uh, we'll let that simmer real quick. We'll put that down right here. So we have a G. Um, the next letter is going to be a Y. Um, how do I feel about Y? I don't know how I feel about Y. I don't know how I, I have, I don't have feelings when it comes to the letter Y. Come on, well that's some good point value. We got G as a 2, Y as a 4. And the way we're going to do it is Pokemon, when a Pokemon gets killed, they get the, we get those points. And then the surviving Pokemon, we get a bonus, we get those points again. Um... Just depending on what's alive. We have an O. We got an O. So we have an O. A G Y O. So far we got Goy. If we get the A, we can spell Goya. Yeah, who likes Goya? I love Adobo. So it's good seasoning on uh, chicken and stuff. If you don't, if you don't know. Come on. Ah. All right. We have an M. An M. That's an interesting letter for sure. Um, not a bad one. Look at that point value. So far, we're the only one we have with one point value is O. So uh, let's grab another one of these little letters right here. We have a an E. So we have an E. So we have a. We almost picked all the vowels out of this bag. Um, between last week, only vowel left is an A, which I don't want to see right now. I kind of. I'm feeling like an R. An R would be good. Can we get an R? Can we get an R? We got a C, which is not the worst thing in the world because that's another good point value. So we can get a good amount of points. Um, a good amount of points this week. So when I come back, we're gonna have our team together. Um, you guys, right now in the comment section, you have your letters. Here we go. We have G O. M, C, Y, and E. You type those out right now in the comment section right now. And basically, um, you guys let me know what Pokemon you would have picked for this here, um, these letters right here. And when we get back, I will have my team all squared away. All right, Lumio Station, so we are back, and we are versing Jelly, one of my subscribers slash followers on Twitter, and uh, his Twitter link should be in the description below. If not, he's on there, and I retweeted him, and he got all that exposure, but um, we're going to go over the Pokemon that I decided to bring with these letters. And uh, as you guys can see on your screen right now, my team does not look bad it does not look bad for once i'm actually uh, i know last week i said i was confident now i'm really confident because i took my time i have a really nice defensive team um in that half my team is like super thick um well it appears to be super thick i might regret that but um soft body my muck and clefable make for a great core but actually soft body is not a defensive pokemon it's offensive and then my onyx is my hard body which is going to be my uh defense uh my defensive pokemon Fat Navi, or Navi, or however you want to pronounce it, I pronounce it Navi. Um, Fat Navi is um, especially defensive. Then you have Base Me Baby, my X spot, I chose for E. For G, I chose Gyarados, my Mega. Um, and for Y, I chose Yan Mega, the first Mega. Um, and that's pretty much it. You guys, uh, make sure you let me know which Pokemon you would have chosen. If you guys want to place your bets like you do on my channel, who you think is going to be the MVP out of those, you can. I'm going to hit Battle Start as I grab my phone so that I can take a picture of my opponent's team. Let's see what he's bringing. Um, got a unique team here. Nice. We got a nice, unique team. I like it. I like it. Um, he's got Typhlosion, Chestnut, um, Electivire, Tentacruel, Rose Roserade, and uh, Dragonite. So, um, not too many common weaknesses on this team. I see maybe a flying weakness in both of his grass type Pokemon. But uh, I don't even think I have anything. The only thing I had to take advantage of that is my Yan Mega. So, I'm going to want to preserve that. What I'm actually going to do, though, is I'm going to open up. Um, yeah, I'm going to open up with my Onyx and try to get Rocks as soon as possible because that way I can break the multi-scale and any possible focus sashes that he may have on his Pokemon. Um, I'm really looking for a win here. I really do think that my team is pretty decent. <laughs> decent at, at, to say the least, I think that it's pretty decent. So hopefully uh, we can grab ourselves a win. Um, 
that would be really nice because we haven't won since week one. And this is week five. So Ballin comes out. It's going to be the Chestnut, which uh, I'm okay with, I guess. Not really. I'm times four weak. Onyx looks so good in this game. Um, I'm times four weak to his stab, so that's unfortunate. And I am going to have to switch out into something that can take it, which would most likely be my... Um, I guess actually my muck. Unfortunately, yeah, it looks like my muck. <sighs> actually, I can go into Yan Mega if I really think. I really think he's gonna go for a grass type move. Let's go into Yan Mega because we can scare it out that way. If I go into muck, I'm not really gonna be able to scare it out that much, um, considering he's just gonna think that it's defensive. I'd much rather go into Yan Mega and um, go for that. He's gonna. Oh, he's just gonna set up the spikes. I could have set up rocks, man. All right, so he's gonna go for the spikes. Um, and I'm going to be able to just go for a nice uh, air slash here. Definitely the move to go for. Um, the first mega. He's going for the spiky shield. Um, I don't believe I damage myself because it's a special attack. I'm hoping I don't. Yes, I don't. And I get my speed boost. So now he's expecting the air slash. So he might go into the electivire. Um, with that being said, I might be better off going for a bug buzz. Me thinks I should go for a bug buzz. It's only neutral on the chestnut, but I think that it's my better play. Let's go for the bug buzz. He is going to withdraw a ball in, and I think that he's going into the Electivire. Goes out into Battleship, which is actually going to be Tentacruel. Um, that stinks because he's going to take that bug buzz just fine. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to suffer the Life Orb recoil, and he's going to get recovery from the Black Sludge, which uh, definitely stinks. Definitely stinks a lot. I'm going to get my speed boost again, but at this point, it really doesn't matter. Um, and I do have the Giga Drain. It looks like he's going to set up a lot of hazards. I feel like he's just going to go for... Um, I think he's going to go for Toxic Spikes now. Which I have the Muck for, so that's fine. I kind of just want to stay in here. And uh, I kind of want to just stay in here and go for an Air Slash, see how much it does. I'm going to do that. Because the... The Bug Buzz did a decent amount for being resisted, and Air Slash is not resisted. That is some nice damage. So if I had gone for the Air Slash initially, oh, I goes for the Scald. That's going to do a crap ton. I really thought it was just going to set up hazards. Um, I have to keep this thing around. I have to for that Chestnut. Um, and for the so I'm going I'm to switch out now. I'm going to predict him to go for the Scald again. I don't think the Air Slash will kill from this range. Would have been really nice if I went for the Air Slash before. So thinking that he's going to go for the Scald. Let's go into... Oh, going into Fat Navi is not going to really be good, though. Um, I guess it'll be fine, because even if he carries the Sludge Bomb, I should be able to take it just fine. So let's let's go... Let's You know what? Let's, yeah, let's go out. Let's go out into our uh, Fat Navi. Let's go out into Clefable here. Um, not really a favorable position to be in, but it's really the only position I want to put myself in. Um, he's going to go for the Scald again. I should be able to take that quite nicely, which is why I switched into this in the first place. And I get burned, but I do have the Magic Guard, so it's not going to matter. Um, it's really not going to matter at all. Another reason why I really didn't want to go into, like, Gyarados to take the Scald, because even though I resisted, if I got burned on my Gyarados, pff, done, over, done, over, done. Um, at this point, I can actually set up a Cosmic Power, and um, it's going to go for the Hex. That's going to do a decent amount, but it's not stabbed, so it shouldn't do too much. It's not going to do too much. I was thinking Stab Hex, but that's not going to do much at all. And I'm going to get a Cosmic Power Up, which means that I'm going to be able to start getting a nice little uh, a super defensive um, Clefable. Sitting out here. Fat Navi is not going to mess around. Unfortunately, I don't have the um, the Moon Blast for the Dragonite on this thing. I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out, though, at this point. But I'm feeling comfortable enough to go for another Cosmic Power. Probably going to switch out into the Roserade, possibly. Not going to go into the Dragonite because I would carry Moonblast normally. Goes into Spriggan, which is going to be the Roserade, which I'm fine with because I can probably one-shot this Roserade at this point um, with Stored Power because it is super effective. I know I'm not Calm Minding. I kind of like the Calm Mind set better, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, but since I'm at plus two special defense and Roserade's probably specially offensive, um, I can really just go for Stored Power here. And we can see how much it does. It should be a 2 KO, even after Black Sludge Recovery. Gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I should, it should do less than half of what I have left. Wow, that's gotta be Specs. Oh, oh no, it's Life Orb. All right. Well, can I one-shot it is really the question. I probably should have gone for another um, Cosmic Power at that point, because I'm not gonna one-shot it. 
Um, no Black Souls recovery for him. I was at 186, I think, and it brought me down to 70. So, uh, that's less than half. 186. No, it's more than half. Um, it, it's gonna do, ah, oh, it's gonna actually do 83. Wow, alright, um... With that, I don't want to just waste Fat Navi. I'm not just going to waste Fat Navi. I know it's pretty much over for Fat Navi, but I know that I can come in on something else and possibly get a Wish Up. So I, I can come in on Chestnut and try to get a Wish Up, so we'll do that. But I'm going to go into my Soft Body, going to get hurt by the Spikes. He's going to go for the Sludge Bomb again, as he pretty much has to. Um, even though I'm not especially of defensive, it doesn't do that much. And I should be able to take this Roserade out with a Shadow Sneak. Um, I'm pretty positive I can. So, let's go for that right now. Um, I am offensive, so I do think that the Shadow Sneak will be enough. He might go out into something else to take, like, an Ice Punch. He might go out into the Tentacruel. Is going to withdraw. And does go out into the Tentacruel Battleship. But uh, I'm going to get a Shadow Sneak off here, which is not going to do too much. Um, considering it's a Tentacruel. But that's not terrible damage. It's not absolutely terrible. Now, I am going to go back out. Am I going to go back out? I kind of want to go back out into my Clefable at this point. Because I don't really have anything else I want to go back out into. So let me just sack off my Clefable. Um, if, it decide, if it decides to go for... Maybe it'll go for Toxic or something? I don't know. Maybe it won't go for Scald, but it's probably going to go for Scald. Um, which, yes, it's, it is going to go for Scald. And that's going to two-hit KO me, unfortunately. Um, oh, it's not going to two-hit KO me. So I'm going to be able to get a Wish off, which is great. Now... I could predict, actually, I might not even wish, uh, you know what, let's wish, I think wish is the best option, let's go for a wish here, um, I kind of want to just go for a knockoff and knock off whatever comes in, or if the tentacruel stays in to get rid of that recovery, but I think getting a wish, he is going to withdraw, so I'll get a wish off, and he's going to go out into that flosion, um, which, which is a fine play on, on my opponent's part, it's a fine play. I don't know that it's going to be able to do much to me, but uh, I am going to have the wish right here. So it's going to allow me to go out into my Onyx um, to soak up the fire type move. Actually, it's probably specially. Typhlosion is probably specially offensive, isn't it? Oh, most likely. You know what? I think we're just going to. No, we can't just sack this thing off. Then we're not going to get anything for our money. Um, let's see. What's your special defense? Uh, it's not terrible. Onyx's special defense is not absolutely horrid. So let's go out into Onyx, hoping that my opponent does go for, like, the Eruption. Because Scarf Eruption is pretty common. And I will get a lot of HP back from the Wish, so I can get my opportunity now to set up the Rocks, which is what I really want. Um, I'm going to suffer Spikes damage, of course, and going to go for the Eruption. I should be able to take that somewhat well if he's Scarfed. Yeah, look, I take that pretty well because it's not very effective, and I'm going to get a lot of HP back. Actually, all of it back. Thanks to the wish. Um, and now I'm going to be able to just set up my stealth rocks. If my opponent wants to go out into Tentacruel, um, then you know what? There's nothing I can do about that. I could predict that I go for the Earthquake. But, nope. Going to go out into Ballin, which is perfect. Um, I mean, not exactly perfect, perfect. But I do get my, my rocks up. So that's fine. That's fine. Now, my opponent might go for another layer of spikes. Um, but it's not worth the risk for me. I'd actually much rather just sacrifice my... Go back into Clefable and try to sacrifice it once again. This is a heck of a battle right now. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Um, wood Hammer. Gonna go for the Wood Hammer. That will easily take me out. Um, Fat Navi getting sacrificed. Of course, of course, of course. Now what I can do... Is I can go out into my Gyarados here. Now let's see if this is worth it. He does have the Electivire. Now, I can make risky predictions. I could go out into my Gyarados. Actually, it wouldn't even be risky. Well, because his Electivire might have the Air Balloon. Um, you know what? Let's go out into my into my Yun Mega. Because at this point, there's not much on his team that wants to take um, Air Slashes. I mean, possibly the Electivire, but then I'll break the Air Balloon like I was just talking about. So I'm okay if he goes out into Electivire. He's going to stay in as I go for straight up the Air Slash. That's going to be a dead... Chestnut because that's times four effective from the very first Yen Mega. So we got our first. Is that our first kill? Oh, I gotta open up a notepad really quick. Um, Yen Mega gets a kill, so we have Yen a Y has plus one, plus one kill. I feel like we killed something else, but I guess not. But Y we get plus four for that because Y has a four letter value. Typhlosion comes out, gonna get hurt by the uh, by the rocks. 
And I actually think you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect to see what he locks himself into. I mean, that's the only reason why I'm protecting. I want to see what he locks himself into so that I can respond to it. Goes for the flamethrower. Um, I can outspeed right now, but I won't one-shot it. So I don't want to waste this thing when that... Um... He's go okay, so he's locking himself into that. I can actually go out into my, into my Onyx again. Let's go out into Onyx. Because your Onyx can take a flamethrower, no problem. And yes, it looks like we have only killed one Pokemon so far. Um, but we have four points right now. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Gonna go for the Flamethrower here. I'm Eviolite. That Flamethrower should not do too much because I resist it. That's that's a decent amount of damage and he does not get the burn. Um, he could possibly go out into Dragon right here. He's gonna go out into something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna Dragon Tail. He's probably gonna go into the Tentacruel, so I could Earthquake. But that's a little risky for him, so I'm just gonna Dragon Tail and hope that I don't Dragon Tail him into the Tentacruel. Because that would be terrible. Um, he is going to go for some sort of switch, which is exactly what I wanted. Onyx looks so good in this game. It's ridiculous. Goes out to Dragoon. Now, this is fantastic because he's going to get hurt by the Stealth Rocks, and then he's going to get hit with a Dragon Tail. So, that's going to be 50% of his HP gone. Um, okay, well, just the bat. Well, after the Stealth Rocks, when he comes back in, it's going to be 50% of his HP gone, which is fantastic. Gonna, of course, you're going to get forced down into the, into the Tentacruel. Of course you are. Um, I kind of predict... I kind of want to take the risk and predict the rapid spin. Yeah, I'm going to predict the rapid spin because there's really nothing I want to switch in to take to deal with this thing anyway. I'm going to go for the earthquake, predict the rapid spin. He's going to go for the scald. Unfortunately, a risky prediction I made did not pay off. And down goes Onyx. Ah, oh, Onyx. Sorry, so we're not getting any points for Onyx anytime soon. Um, unless Stealth Rocks takes something out, then Onyx gets the point. So let me actually keep that letter over here for now. Um, he's going to get Black Sludge Recovery. And I'm pretty much going to be forced to go out into my um, into my X-Bot at this point. Because X-Bot can probably wreck shop on just about everything. Um, just about. I'm going to get hurt by the spikes, but that's not going to do nearly enough. I can just go for Boom Burst. Yeah, I'm just going to Boom Burst away at this point. I think something tells me that... Oh, Scald goes first. You're at speed and X-Bot? What? That is crazy. You get a crit burn. Of course you get a crit burn. Of course you get a crit burn. Why wouldn't you get a crit burn when I'm feeling good about myself? x Cloud does get a kill. So for E, we get plus one. Um, really unfortunate that uh, x Cloud had to get burned right there and critted. Because now his Typhlosa could come in and easily revenge it. Um, I actually think... Why are you so slow? I think I should outspeed something on his team with this x uh, this x Cloud, So I kind of want to save it. But realistically, looking at the, looking at it, there's no reason to save it. There's really not. Let's just go, let's just let it go down. Uh, there's really no reason to try to save this thing. The you know, one thing that I can do here now that the um, is the tentacruel out of the way. I think the tentacruel's out of the way. Now that the tentacruel's out of the way, <sighs> doesn't really help. What I have to do here, this is this is really unfortunate. What I have to do here is I have to go out into my. Um, Gyarados, I'm actually going to run a little bit of Calc here. Because I'm not going to Mega Evolve. Um, he is going to go into his Electivire here. I, gu I, I guarantee it. Um, so if I Dragon Dance. If I Dragon Dance right now. I need to know if a Waterfall from a Mega... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to Dragon Dance. I'm just going to Dragon Dance. I think the Dragon Dance is the best play. He's probably going to go into Electivire here. He's going to have the Air Balloon. Um, Spurgan... Oh, is that, he's actually going to go... Oh, okay, he's going to go into Roserade. Um, I didn't Mega Evolve for such a reason that now I'm, I'm still neutral. I can actually probably... I could probably get another Dragon Dance up. Just to make sure I outspeed that Typhlosion. I think it's actually worth it. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for another Dragon Dance because I need to make sure that I outspeed that Scarf Typhlosion. Um, and at this point, I do. So, he's going to go for the Giga Drain, which is neutral. Um, wow, that's a crit? Is that a crit? I don't think that's a crit. Um, that's, that's, that's an awful lot of damage. But I am at plus two. And I don't think he has much of priority. I mean, he does have the Dragonite. But I don't think a Dragonite uh, will kill Omega Gyarados. Um... I don't think so. 
So what I can do here is I can Mega Evolve and just go uh, straight away. A Waterfall should still kill, but I'm not going to take that risk. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Um, if he decides to switch out... Okay, he's not going to switch out, thankfully. So Gyarados getting a kill right now. Um, I know I'm being a little preemptive here, but Gyarados is getting a kill. So that's another two points. That's it is another two points. So we're going to break the mold. And we're going to EQ. And uh, that's going to take this Roserade out easily. No questions asked. Um, he might he might think... Uh, yeah, I don't think he has any priority left on his team. Justin Dragonite. So he pretty much has to go out into Dragonite here. But I don't think that Dragonite's going to be able to one-shot me with Extreme Speed. I don't think so. I do not 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 think so. Out comes the Typhlosion. Now, I could be wrong, but I should outspeed this thing. So let's just go for a nice little waterfall. And guarantee ourselves. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! That's why I needed that second D-Dance right there. That's exactly why I needed that second D-Dance. So we get another kill with Gyarados. That is another two points. We are up to nine points right now. Nine points right now. I'm feeling like if a Pokemon goes on a streak, it should get double points. I don't know about you guys. But that's the way I feel. I feel like if you get like a streak of kills, like how I am I'm right now, I'm not switching out. Uh, you should get like double letter scores. I think I'm going to do that. All right. So you know what? We're, we're instituting that rule right now. Um, double letter scores. Goes out into the Baltasar, which is going to be the Electivire. Is he floating in the air? He's not floating in the air. So an Earthquake is easily going to take this thing out, um, which is absolutely fantastic. That is another kill. You know, maybe we shouldn't institute that. Because that would be at plus 8. No, but you know what? Setting up, making the opportunity to set up for a sweep, that's what we're doing in Pokemon Scrabble. If you get to you, you, if you get multiple kills, like, in a row, back to back, like, you never switch out. Um, like, if Yon Mega gets another kill, it wouldn't, I don't get plus 8 for it. I just get regular. But this is, like, back to back, like, double letter. I like that. Double letter score. I like that. If you guys like that, let me know. But that's what we're going to do. So, right now, we just got plus 8 for Gyarados' third kill. And out comes the Dragoon. Now, I personally think he should have went to the Dragon first because it was his only chance of outspeeding me if he, if he packs the E-Speed. Um, I pretty much have to go for the Waterfall because I'm not going to risk Stone Edge missing. Um, let's just go for the Waterfall. And he doesn't pack the E-Speed. So that's why he didn't go out to it. Um, even resisted. This is plus two. That's going to be plus 16 um, because of this double letter score. But that, And now we have to go over um, how many Pokemon do we have left. Um, we had three Pokemon left being Gyarados, Yanmega, Onyx died. Um, shoot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I gotta look at my team. I gotta look at my team. Onyx died. Uh, Clefable died. And who is my M? Oh, man, I forgot. I, my battle videos are full. I would have saved that so I could check just in case I was wrong. But I know Gyarados and Yanmega were around. And let me see. Did x go down? x did go down. So, my muck. It was my muck. So, our for our total points so far, for kills, we had four with Yon Mega. Um, let me actually just get out of this so that he doesn't start freaking out. Um, four, we got four points from Yon Mega. We got one point from my x kill. And then Gyarados got four kills. So, that was two plus four plus eight plus 16. That's 24, 30, 35 points. That sounds like a great word. For kills. And then for our bonus, we had Gyarados, which is worth two, Genmega, which is worth four, and mm, Muck, which is worth three. So that's a total of nine more points, bringing our total score to 44 points, the highest since uh, we started counting points, which is only our second week. But we did get a win, so I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, please leave a like rating. Keep supporting the series. Support Lumios. Check out the other series on this channel. Check out my channel, because I upload, like, a crap ton of videos. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else... Keep it shady.